Have you ever gone to pay for something and realized you can't pay with Paracord? No? Just me? Well, if you want to have this problem too, check this out. Here's a cool and novel way to store some Paracord. It keeps it flat and pocketable with this credit card Paracord spool. So all you'll need is an old gift card or something like that. Now don't do this with your actual credit card, of course. And all I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut four small notches in the four corners of my card. Now I cut them a bit too large, and it's actually better if you cut them smaller as it catches the cord better. But anyhow, you can see I've got my four notches. And from there, I can start winding my paracord around my card. I'm going to tie a simple overhand knot on one end. And then from there, I can start winding the cord around the card. And I'm going to keep my cords stacked next to each other on the first pass, making my way across. So I'm just winding the cord onto the card in a single layer. And when I get to the opposite side, I'm going to hitch the cord to the notches on the other side, then return back to the side I started on. After the first pass, I'm going to wind my way back to the first side for a second wrap around. And once I reach where I started, I can secure the end in the second notch on the same side. Also tie another overhand knot to help keep it in place. Now we have a nice spool of paracord and it sits nice and flat. Now, before you say it, I know this is not a huge amount of cord and that you can't take this into the woods with you and build the Taj Mahal or something with it. That's not the point, obviously. This is more for the urban or city dweller that may need a small amount of rope for a random task. An outdoors person would definitely want to take something more substantial. I'm sure you could think of a ton of uses for a small amount of cord, like replacing a broken shoelace or something like that. This credit card has a small footprint and can be stored in your EDC bag, pouch, or even pocket. And after you unspool and use some of the cord, should you choose to cut the cord instead of using the entire piece, you'll have to melt the end or make sure you retie the overhand knot to prevent fraying. Also, you can add more cord to your spool, but that would make it thicker, of course. It's really up to you how much cord you want to store. A simple and small solution for when you need a bit of cord in a pinch.